again and welcome back to Pioneer. <clears throat> Today we are at Scott Base in the Dexty system. Dexty, that's an interesting name. Dexty, right? We are actually <laughs> in an interesting place. Uh, is part of the Obsidian Horde, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> so we are in this little section of space here. Between the Soul Fed and the uh, Commonwealth of Independence and Obsidian Horde. A little bit of Blood Faction. Because we see them more over here. But, yeah, we're not going there quite yet. So today, I thought we'd uh, take a few more trips with the, uh, what would you call it? There it is, the Plasma Accelerator. I already forgetting the name of it. <laughs> right, so I think I figured out the, uh, the effective range of the Plasma Accelerator. It's probably... Uh, Eight kilometers. So, let's give this another go. Interstellar delivery, 26 light years, only a thousand credits. That's probably not a particularly dangerous mission. Nope. So, it's not worth it. So, let's check. We got a 5,500 credit one and a 3,300 credit one. So, let's see. Hi, I'm Kaziyev Kuda, the Horde Prefecture will pay 500 credits for a combat mission to the Thoruk system. We are short on pilots on ships, so this will be an opportunity for a loyal citizen to make some money. Uh, the target is a small pirate base on Thoruk D1. Let's check that out. Thoruk D1. That's a little far. Uh, how about this? We'll film that work for the Galactic Explorer Company. Some of our freighters are priced away. Koji H1 in the Koji system to increase the safety of our employees because of equipment. We are going to pay 3,000 credits. Koji H1. How about Koji? Wow! Wow! 60 AU! It's almost 61 AU. Nice uh, white dwarf, though. 60 AU. Wow. I wonder how long that'd take us to get there. That's impressively far. So that's out of the question. So Koji, sorry. You're not happening. So, Thoric. How will I be paid? Meet me in the Isbur system. Uh, what are the objectives? Yeah, okay. Uh, where was it? There it is. Thoric D1. Comparatively, only 2 AU out. Small gas giant, we can fill up on gas and. Uh, Head out to Izbek afterwards. This might only be a single jump. Ah, uh, no, it's two jumps. That's nice, though. Five tons of fuel. Okay, so. Well, we get ahead of ourselves and. Jump out before <laughs> accepting the contract. Let's actually accept the contract. Alright, so we've got our gas, we got our contract. Uh, let's boogie. So this planet we're on is actually kind of neat because it actually looks like a moon planet. Right? It's all white and or gray, I suppose. Got a bunch of craters. I think it looks pretty nice. It looks rather moonish. Let's go take a look at one of these craters before we leave to uh, Thoric. Hmm. 
We haven't really spent too much time flying around planets. An occasional planetoid, sure, but nothing big like this. Hey, it's actually a crater. Neat. Alright. Let's get out of here. So I've done a mission or two since the last video. And uh let's see. Alright. We're still in the poor combat rating, twenty-two kills. And let's see. Eight meters, eight kilometers off the surface. Okay. And I think I'm liking this plasma accelerator. It eats through shields. And it really smacks the crap out of hulls, too. Oh, what was the ship that I was fighting last time? I was fighting one ship in a similar mission. And it was a big ship. It was a thousand ton uh, hull ship. Or D1. Still took a while. Doesn't didn't take quite as long as trying to do it with a laser would. So yeah, I think the plasma accelerator is the way to go. Although last time I did a mission. I did what I'm doing now. Right. It was a mission to uh, a gas giant. Not a moon of a gas giant, but an actual gas giant, which was rare, I think. And I was going to get to the gas giant, defeat the enemy, scoop, and then uh, warp back. But I messed the approach up. So, instead of scooping at the gas giant, I ended up pumping some fuel down from my fuel tanks. It was a little closer than, than this uh, planet was, so I still had a lot of extra fuel. And warped out while I was hurtling towards the surface of the gas giant. Had I not warped out, well, I would have pancaked into the surface? Gas giants have surfaces. Either either way, uh, <laughs> I would have gone splat. But because I decided to warp out, it was okay. All right, not the greatest approach, not the not what I had planned on doing. But you know, we saved ourselves from uh, an otherwise deadly situation. Hopefully that won't happen this time. Just about at breaking distance. Let's maneuver and hit the brakes. So we'll push our retrograde meter back on to meter marker back on to the moon. And let our thrusters do the work. Man, this is a nice approach, though. Nice, not in terms of piloting skill. Nice in terms of background. We have this nice, this nice view of the Milky Way. As we make our approach. That's 
definitely one of the best things to see in the sky, I think. It's the same, it's the same here as it is in Elite Dangerous. So, seeing the Milky Way in Elite Dangerous is exceptionally neat because, ooh, 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 let's slow down a bit, is exceptionally neat because you can actually fly to any of the planets, or planets, <laughs> the systems in Elite Dangerous. Here, this might just kind of be a background thing. You know, I haven't really given it a try. And that's a long way, too. I mean, really dangerous. You don't really need to have a hyperdrive mechanics look at your ship every once in a while. But you have to here. So I don't know how far you could actually get into the Milky Way in this game. We are just about at the planet. The moon. Ooh, hoo -hoo. we're gonna overshoot. Okay. Bugger. Let's see. I got D1. Oh, come on. It's just us and the moon. That sucks. Alright, well. Bugger. That's not fun. So we use our thrusters, our reverse thrusters, and our bottom side thrusters? Not entirely sure what you'd call those. But this should help us break. And we'll swing around the planet. There we go. See, that worked out okay. And now we just wait for the scanning to finish. Darn, I was hoping to get some combat in here. But, <sighs> that wasn't the case. to uh, soul fed territory, doesn't it? <sighs> That's okay, though. So, let's see. Thurk, Thurk, Thurk. There we are. So let's head towards Thurk. We'll gas up and head to Isber. Still pretty far away. 0 0.02 AU from the moon. That's fairly far. Alright. We got a break. Go ahead and sit on the brakes. And the last time I scooped, I was oh, letting my approach speed get too fast. 
and I had to do that emergency jump out. I don't want to do that now, because not only do we have to go to Isber, after we go to Isber, speaking of Isber, right, Isber doesn't have any planets, so we couldn't, we couldn't gas up at Isber. So, I want to... Ooh, make sure we have enough fuel here to not only get to Isber, but to get from Isber to somewhere else. Check how much gravity this planet has. Let's go to Thuruk. D7. No, they have 0.78. Okay, that's not terrible. approach. Not majorly. I mean, we can still fix this, but this was a bad approach. Sorry. I suppose not dying is an acceptable approach. <laughs> yeah, so I was probably approaching the planet too steep then, and. approach, otherwise we're not going to get into the atmosphere anytime soon. Not there yet. So we're in a hundred kilometers. You want to put me into the atmosphere yet? No. down do we gotta go we're still not in the atmosphere we're 20 kilometers from the surface Now we're in the atmosphere. Okay. We turn ourselves around. Now we 
we go. You scoop in. And this is as fast as we can go in the atmosphere, apparently. We're scooping pretty well, though. see, I need five tons to get to Isber. I'm going to go ahead and turn the time dilation up a bit. Make it a lot easier to scoop. Right. And we'll pump some of this fuel up. Yeah, I might as well just completely gas up while we're here, since this is pretty easy place to gas up. Okay, wow. Fuel up, almost got a full tank. That should do it. probably stop at any of these systems around here. Biggie or Eo Fudol or Etoma Obez Obez Dumo just kind of par though. So, fuck. Alright. Let's bug out. Thank you for the money. Alright, let's go somewhere. Oh. Robert's mine. That's nah, a little far. How about Biggie? Biggie. Or Biggie. Ooh. It's a big system. Seven, eight. That's a lot of stations. Well, because it's around a nice planet, isn't it? Ang's Rock. This might be a good place to go. Let's check out the station. Six, seven, one. Five, eight, not a whole lot of good stations here. Nine. That's interesting. Not great, though. Ovays. Ooh. Nope. Was pretty close. Lauren base is three, eight, three. Not great. Bach, Bach. Beckler's Rock. Nine, three. That's not too far though. You know, I think Ovays. Was it or Etoma? Was it Etoma? Yeah, Tony AU. Okay. We'll go here. That works for me. Oh my. 
Here we go. Here we go to, let's go to Lawrence base. Because I really don't feel like heading to a planet right now. should go. It actually orbits pretty quickly. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have to duck this uh, sun. There we go. I'm not careful. Sometimes the... Uh, the sun's gravity can pull you into itself while you're maneuvering towards your target. Alright, and let's get ready so while we're here. too hard of an approach. So we sit on these brakes. And ooh. shouldn't be too hard of an approach, I say, as I screw the approach up. Fix it, fix it, fix it. We're going too fast. <sighs> Shouldn't be too hard of an approach, I say, as I screw it all up. Okay, we're going too fast. <laughs> so, uh, we're going in reverse, so let's do this. Here we go. Yeah, okay. this up, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we kind of fixed it. I 
wonder if we can dock. Anything that leaves us alive is probably for the best. Despite uh, that almost terrible approach, we're okay. <laughs> Space Miner, that's one of the biggest ships in the game, if not the biggest ship. Okay, whew. So, slightly hairy approach, but we're safe. <laughs> we're here. So, we pump all our extra fuel up, so we save a little bit on gas. And we're good! So, I'm a little disappointed we didn't get to do any fighting today, but, alright, a mission done is a mission done. More money in the bank. Anyways, that's it for today. We'll see you all later. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.